Hey guys, uh, happy 4th of July to those of you who, who are stateside like myself. Uh, I had a question from one of my subscribers, Paul, the other day, uh, and we went back and forth a little bit about how to keep your table from rusting while you have the vice on it. So uh, I actually get a little bit of time farting around in the shop today on 4th of July, which is fantastic. And I thought I'd show you kind of uh, how I maintain a rust-free surface. You can see there's some discoloration and that's actually an oily film it, that may come off. I, I actually don't care about it. So I leave it. I've had my vice off for the last several hours of the mill running and uh, this oil still stays on here. And so uh, a little oily film in the middle, but to start with, I clean the table really well and my flood coolant actually will dissolve most oils and things. So I just clean it with my flood coolant and then I get some blue shop towels and just wipe it down real smooth. And that pretty much gets me, um, where I want it to be. And then <clears throat> the other thing I do is on the bottom of my vise, uh, using blue shop towels and some brake cleaner. Let's see right now I'm using Magtech one. I mean, any brake cleaner is fine. This is just whatever the cheapest stuff was at O'Reilly or Napa. I can't remember where I bought it. So uh, cheap brake cleaner on the vise, not on the table. Um, if you do use brake cleaner on your machine surfaces, I would recommend going over it with, uh, if nothing else, with some WD-40 right away, or maybe just some regular oil, whey oil, anything to get something over the top of it, because that brake cleaner will just strip it bare. Okay, so we've got this cleaned off with just the flood coolant, uh, wiped off perfectly dry, and I've got the bottom of the vise perfectly clean with brake cleaner, and that only takes a second. Let me set the vise up here real quick. And then what I use is this uh, Molly EP uh, by Schaefer's and Brad at Tactical Keychains turned me onto this stuff. I know he was using it for a while, I think for a similar purpose. He's gone to a different system now, but I still like this. And, and I just, uh, I stick my finger in there and get a little bit out. And then I literally just wipe it on, use a couple fingers, go over every single surface. It, it's a good idea if you're, uh, if the bottom of your vise is perfectly clean and free of chips, I could have done a better job down in here because you may pick them up with your fingers while you're wiping all this on. And then this is pretty much it. Once this is wiped on, I flip it around and I'll show you that here in just a second. And you don't really have to go crazy with this stuff, but I'm telling you, it is so insanely sticky. And there's a link in the description where you can pick this up on Amazon. It's pretty cheap and it lasts forever. But this stuff is like the stickiest oil you've ever I mean, it's like honey. It really is. It it's like running warm honey all over your all over your parts. So let me just hurry in. I'm not going to speed this up because I'm I don't want to do any video editing with this footage. I just want to throw it on uh, YouTube and get back to my playing around. All right. So perfectly clean, nice and lubed. Get in here in the keyway slots. I do these last because uh, my fingers are going to pick up some of the. Got to get a clean finger here. My fingers are going to pick up some of the chips. All right, and that's it. Set that out of the way. Put the lid on. And I'm going to wipe my fingers off. Now, like I said, even when I take it off and I've done a lot of machining, a film of this stuff stays on the bottom of the vise. And part of it, um, you can see, well, you can probably see, there's some discoloration on the vise as well. Uh, there's a brown stripe. And there's kind of another one. That's fine. Discoloration's one thing. I mean, yeah, you want your pretty stuff to be pretty, but that's not going to ruin anything. It's not pitting. It's not ruining the surface. So we'll bring this back and flip it over. Table still looks... Actually, we got one little fleck right there. Oh, no, that's a scratch. All right, so table's still clean. And that's also because I cleaned my vise thoroughly before I took it off the table. That way I could flip it around. Um, flip it upside down without a bunch of gunk falling all over the table. And that's it. I'll just slide this back and forth a little bit. And then I'll uh, put the put the bolts on, clamp her down, get her trammed up. We're good to go. And zero rust problems. This has been working great for me. I've been doing it for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, Schaefer's Molly EP. I love it. Uh, don't use it as whey oil. Um, I used it as whey oil for a while. And it, it this is a high pressure oil. And I was allowed to tighten the Gibbs so insanely tight and still get just amazing travel that uh, I ended up scratching the Gibbs. Um, like, like I could see premature wear in the Gibbs because of it. Because I didn't realize how tight I had them because this stuff 
it doesn't matter how tight you get your Gibbs, this stuff will still let your, your parts slide together like crazy. It, it's amazing. But stiction, uh, that's the main reason why, even if you run your Gibbs loose, this stuff will give you a lot of stiction. And if you don't know what that is, if you try to, mach- if you try to jog your table like an inch, it'll move an inch, no problem. But if you try to jog at a thousandths, you may not get it. If you have any backlash in your system, uh, this stuff will find it. Anyway, that's it. Back to machining. Happy 4th.